fouling system for us, ultrasonics. Hi guys, something a little bit different now. Um, looking at another improvement to make to Ava Grace. Uh, one of those jobs that we are all hate to do is anti-fouling. So we're going to fit marine ultrasonic anti-fouling. That's a, an ultrasonic transducer, a control box, and a cable to join the two. So how it works is the transducer emits ultrasound which transmits throughout the hull and creates microscopic bubbles on the outer surface preventing the marine algae and uh, other pests adhering to the hull and keeping it clean. So that when you do lift, and you do still need to lift, but all you need to do is give it a pressure wash and then you check your anodes and do whatever else you need to do. But hopefully it means that we don't have to go back into the yard and scrape the hull and repaint. Let's see how we go. So the first task uh, in putting our ultrasonics on is to install the control box. Now I do have a space next to my Victron charger and just below my uh, uh, solar panel controller uh, which I think that will work nicely just down there and so as always on a boat nothing ever goes quite as simple it took a bit longer to fit that but it's just because it's in a tight spot with other cables around it anyway that's in so now I can determine how much cable I need in order to power that up and we'll take the power from the back of our uh, uh, main power supply so the top supplies are all uh, 12 volts I'll find a permanent 12 volt supply we'll put a switch into that and then a 5 amp fuse between that and the controller so as with anything with boat electrics it's been a bit harder to connect than I thought that's just purely because it didn't have enough uh, space on the earth bus um, but we've got got it now powered up so I've got it through to a, an on off switch there which is uh, still off and needs to stay off until uh, we get it all connected electrically because uh, I've got to put the transducer in I've got the cable through fed through to here it's all in here uh, I've got a 5 amp fuse there so all that can sit behind there for now and then tomorrow we'll uh, try and get the transducer bonded in and the uh, final connections done so today we're going to fit the transducer and it's going to go in in the wardrobe right down there where I've got that cloth at the moment I've got to clean all that up and get that surface really nice and clean and dry and grease free and then we can glue um, the uh, transducer to the uh, bottom of the hull hey yeah uh. how tight is working on the boat And there he goes again. And that, folks, is my wardrobe. So 
So we've prepped the area where the transducer is going to sit. And I've prepped the transducer and also cleaned that surface with uh, acetone. So next I just need to mix some uh, epoxy up. Yeah, so now we've got uh, our thickened epoxy. West Systems uh, mixed up. I'm going to put a good coating of uh, that on this face here and then we'll press it down, smudge it out uh, so it gets a good bond to the hole. While waiting for the epoxy to cure, the yeah. iron line were here. So I took my light jackets up for testing. One of them with faults. Uh, the very first one he found had been fired and it was out of date. There you go, tight and tight. Lovely. That's a nice move. Four, nine, yeah. Good. That's okay. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-three. That's out. Good. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair I don't wear me good ones for work. No. <laughs> there we go, sir. And so we've powered up and we've got a green light on the uh, transducer and a green light on the control panel as well. So, can't hear anything. Can't tell anything, only time will sit, tell. We'll see how this goes on a long-term test. We also had a visit with Bumber Iron Ally with their seven class. They came into our outer basin initially to do some exercises. I guess uh, our depth wasn't quite what they were expecting. So uh, they quickly backed back out and set off back down the river. <laughs> 